was a good question. Uh, we did not have the right approach, and I, I didn't think we were ready to play. Uh, understanding that the, they were going to come out with a sense of urgency, and we didn't have the same that same sense. Um, you know, I thought the game progressed. I thought we, we started to pick it up, which is good. It's a good sign to see. Uh, but you, you just dug yourself such a deep hole. Uh, you know, second half it was you know, night and day, particularly the fourth quarter. But uh, we have to kind of avoid those, those sluggish starts. You know, whether we're making shots or not, um, we got to be able to you know, get some defense into the game early. Yeah, I mean, in general, I mean, it, but we once again, you can't allow the misses to, um, you know, determine how you know, our, our defensive dis disposition. I thought we did at times, you know, you, you drop your head, you're a little frustrated. There's some, you know, obvious body language. It's human human emotion, but you have to fight that, um, you know, because they're going to keep coming. And that's where you have to kind of, okay, um, we're not making shots right now. Let's stay in the game with our defense. We didn't do that in the first quarter. Well, it's all of us. I mean, we, you know, you have to, you know, breathe life and confidence in our guys and continue, continue to shoot the, the right shots. Continue to do that. I think the law of averages will even out for us. Um, we've struggled at times and, and to avoid those lulls, we can't, uh, we can't go away from it, you know, and um, at times we do. But I think you just have to keep encouraging guys to do the right thing, continue to play the right way, um, and it, it'll turn. But I, I still don't think that has anything to do with, um, you know, our overall defensive focus. What did you see with the, the defense on, on Al early? It didn't seem like he got the yeah, he got going, and he he was uh, physical uh, on the offensive end. He was physical on both ends. You know, he was creating separation, um, playing downhill. Uh, he's a really good player, and uh, it was you know it's a challenge for Corey. I think it's 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 a good opportunity, and he can take something from that. And you know, I know they're, they're different players, but um, you know, just how he creates separation, uh, how he gets open, um, we have to find a way to kind of narrow his airspace and he, he played with a level of comfort that I thought got him going. Well, I'm not in a good place. So, uh, no, we don't like this. None of us do. Um, players don't like it either. Um, but and, that, and that's where, you know, collectively we have to regroup and know we have a handful of games to play. And um, it's easy to just say, hey, well, let's worry about it in the offseason. And then that's, that's not acceptable. Um, we've talked about it, and it, it matters, all of it, every possession, every moment we step in between those lines. Uh, we have a job to do, and so we can't take those moments lightly. I feel like they just heard it. Well, that's a question you have to ask them. Um, uh, I thought we believed it in the fourth quarter. But why can't we believe it in the first? Wayne. Hey, Coach. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that closing unit um, going into the fourth. I thought they did a terrific job. Um, I know we dug ourselves a hole, but um, – you know, you, you fight back, you cut it under double digits, um, have a chance to, I think, cut it to seven um, with time to play. Um, so you, you give yourself an opportunity. You know, it's a shame that it, it had gotten so out of hand early that you have to exhaust so much energy to make it a game. But the fact that we were at least able to come back, compete, um, you know, we made some shots late, made some plays on both sides of the ball. I thought, you know, our defensive intensity picked up. Um, our hand activity and that, that helped get us out a little bit in transition, open things up. Um, but you know that the issue is why do we wait? Let's let's try to do some of that in the first quarter, sustain it a little bit longer. Um, I think we give ourselves a chance. And lastly, Coach Anthony always seems to be ready. Can you just talk about the spark he gave off the bench tonight? Yeah, he has, um, and he's shown that you know from time to time all season. Uh, to his credit, he doesn't he, he get routine minutes. Um, but he always keeps himself ready. Uh, puts in extra time, puts in extra work after practice. 
uh, stays in good condition, you know, make sure he's, you know, stays connected to the group and understands what we're doing. So when you insert him, it's he, he's plug and play. And he's come up big, at, you know, at times throughout this year. So certainly a credit to him and, and his, his level of professionalism. No one, I, I feel like, you no, know, by the language, like, they went up, what, I want to say it was 12 to 2. And then 24 to 9. I mean, I feel like, you know, they, they was beating the life out of us. You know, no one wanted to play. No one was looking engaged. No one was like, you know, you know locked in, I, I would say. How do you think the pressure is coming off? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what guys is doing on their, you know, they, they free time, you know, to get ready for the game. Uh, and try to get their mind right. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I know we come in uh, before uh, pregame. You know, we go over everything. You know, we did a shoot around, so everybody's prepared. And I guess that 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 twenty second walk to the tunnel. I don't. I don't know what happens there. You know, a lot of guys. I feel like they they go blank. You know, when we when we out there. You know, the the coverage that we have. You know. It, I don't know what it is. Is it, is it hard or is it, you know, they don't know what's going on. So it's, I mean, I have to still have to sit down and have a talk with them and you know, see what's, what's the problem. And uh, what's the, what do you think is the mood of the team after the game? Um, I hope it's, you know, they have amnesia because we got a next one in less than 24 hours. So, uh, you know, that's, that's the best part about this, you know, this, this game and this league, you know, uh, you get another crack at it. Uh, no matter what what happens the game before, um, you know, we got a game tomorrow. So right now we we can we can talk about it, but we can't dwell on like what happened tonight. You know, we, we can talk about it after the Detroit game, but tonight, uh, right now we got to focus on Detroit. You know, we got a game. Is uh, the approach or at least the approach to start a game is that something that should merit the team? Uh, yeah. I mean, I know this is just just to start a game that is it's on the players. You know, coaches uh doing the best he can like to prepare us. You know, doing a pregame um as far as like film, you know, uh personnel. You know, going over offensive scheme, defensive scheme. So he's doing a great job of preparing us, and then. It's up to us players, you know, uh, to start the game uh, better than we did tonight. We'll take one last question from Christos. Hey, KCP, hope you're doing well. How could you, could you explain those ups and downs for your team? You start real slack as the game tonight. You had a great fourth quarter. How could you explain that? Uh, I mean, Milwaukee came out, you know, uh, real aggressive, and I feel like, you know, we we didn't we didn't hit back, you know, to, to start the game. You know, we kind of get uh, dug ourselves a hole. Um, I don't know if it was just we, we were missing shots, you know, and then we we was like messing up on defense or, or whatever it was. Um, they Milwaukee made made, made shots, and we did it, and then we, but we couldn't get stops. When we, when we wanted to, um, uh, I think that was the big uh, key to that first half. We couldn't get stops, so they just ran up the scoreboard. I feel like everything was just too easy on the start of the game. Um, but we, second half, you know, what towards the end of the second, you know, the second half of the quarter, um, I think we kind of, you know, switched the, the narrative. You know, we play, started playing a little bit aggressive, you know, uh, getting stops when we needed, you know, also making shots, which, you know, Everybody's happy, you know, and want to play uh, when they when they knocking down shots. Um, but I think the second half we turned it around just by you know just by playing. You know, we we was down big, you know, we would just try to get back into the game by any means. And as one of the leaders of this group, what do you need to do, both you personally and the whole team, to establish the fourth quarter's effort until the end? Uh, we just got to stay engaged. Uh, I know I think we lose, you know, focus sometimes uh, throughout the down, down the stretch in the fourth. Uh, but we got to try to uh, stay focused, you know, and engaged. And I got to do a better job and you know, getting my team together uh, down the stretches. What do you attribute to kind of turnout? 
just fight. Like, it seems like we had like a, I don't know, like, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't wanna say the wrong thing, but like, just felt like we had like this sense of fight and start pressing, pushing, playing good defense. We had a sense of urgency. I think that's probably the best words that I could use, like a sense of urgency. Uh, coach got into us, um, but you know, with an exception of the first quarter, you know, we weren't too bad, but uh, this is the NBA. And if you come out kind of lacking and kind of, you know, hanging out during the game, these teams, especially a team like Milwaukee, they're trying to go back to back. Um, you got Brooke that's trying to get back in rhythm. Drew was out early in the year. He's trying to get back in rhythm. Um, you know, Javon Carter, those guys who kind of came a little later. Uh, we know what uh, G Hill does. Serge trying to get acclimated. So these guys, this is an opportunity for them to kind of sharpen their knives and their tools, getting ready to go into the playoffs. So those guys are good. And, and, and so we came in kind of just kind of lackadaisical. And when you do that, <laughs> I mean, this is the NBA, and these are the defending champs. Whether Giannis and, and, and Chris plays or not, they got a really good team. Um, so, um, you know, I think, you know, a tribute to us just kind of playing harder and playing with a little bit of sense of urgency. Um, but you don't get any, you know, this isn't participation grade where you get an A for, you know, showing up. You know, we, we have to come in and, and play like that from the beginning to the end and sustain it and, and try to get a win. I can I can I can feel it. I have a discernment. I can feel it. <laughs> uh, but you can only kind of control what you can control. Uh, that's why I am thankful I play and not a coach because you know Coach West has a, a difficult job because you're trying to get <clears throat> 15 guys to be on one accord, one page, and not even knowing what you outside of the court has to be done, and so. Uh, it's a difficult, you know, task. Uh, but for me as a player, like, you know, you do have some say so in your play and you can control what you can control so you can control your play. Um, so I, I kind of usually don't, you know, you try to rally your troops, talk to the guys and everybody ain't gonna have a great day. You play 82 games. Um, so it just kind of, we was a little off a little bit. And, and then uh, we kind of, after the first quarter, I think we kind of caught some sense of momentum. How did Coach get uh, that? Yeah, in a deep, strong voice. <laughs> uh, he got on us. Uh, he, you know, he told us he was like, um, you know, we're going to fight, you know, in a sense, in so many words. Um, you know, we know Coach is a fighter. Um, and so, you know, he's trying to take that energy and and breathe it in all of us. And so, it was a situation of where he came in and said what he said with, with um, you know, with a lot of energy. Um, <laughs> I guess that's what you could call it, a lot of energy. But uh, he was mad. He was frustrated. Uh, and then uh, we settled in, and, and then that's, you know, when we kind of made a little bit of a run. And that occurred between the first and second quarter, sometime during the first quarter. Mm. When did that happen? That was hot. It happened on – Happened on two occasions. It happened in the first, like somewhat in the second quarter, into the first, uh, where he was like, What are we doing? You know, in a sense. And then it, it happened again when they went on a run. I think Serge hit that three and went up. It went up back up by like 24, 26, something, something happened. Or George Hill made the layup or something where he was down like 26. And, you know, coach was just like, you know, all right, now what are we gonna do? You know, we're gonna fold and we're gonna fight. And so we had a sense of fight and uh, they got back in the game. I have a really question. Uh, Reese seems to play really well when you're on the floor with him. No, that's my guy. That. Yeah. You're, uh, what, what do you do to help him kind of keep that momentum going? We help each other. Uh, you know, Rui was here when I was my rookie year. So you got to, I mean, his rookie year. I'm sorry, not my rookie year. I was, I was old. Uh, <laughs> but what he what uh, we built that connection because he would come off the bench with me and um we built that connection that year then last year and so this year we just kind of kind of kept it going and so so many things that he can do out on the floor post up post up mismatches 
Um, he's really good at dribble handoffs. And so I go down here and throw it back. He's a really good spot up shooter, really good off the dribble. And so my job as a point guard is try to figure out how I can get him and all other guys that I'm out there with easier shots. Um, and sometimes you make it easy and throw him the ball and get out the way. And sometimes you have to do the work and, and you know, spoon fit, spoon feed him, you know, whether it's layups or kick out threes. And so for me, we just have that connection just from the beginning, just playing through training camp last year, whole season. I mean, two years ago, training camp. Then again, last year, training camp, the whole season. And then uh, this year, we just kind of uh, haven't, you know, missed a beat and, and just kind of consistently just play at that level. So, uh, and he keeps getting better. So it's, it's special to kind of watch him play. Now he's shooting freaking 57% from the three, which is a, a extra added part of his game.